Hi everybody. Um, my name is Casey, and uh, I love social media too. And I'm also a social media addict. Uh, like Scott, I have a lot of tweets. I'm up to about thirty thousand or something. <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, I write a blog. I've been writing a blog about my life for about the last five years. It's called Casey Stewart. This is my life. It's a daily journal of. Uh, Stuff I call, would say people, places, things, and thoughts. That's kind of how it started out, uh, and I just kind of kept writing it. And it's a it's a daily, and you're more than welcome to check it out, comment if you like. Um, but that, I started doing that, and I really loved uh, internet and social, and I thought this kind of space was really cool. And I wanted to get a cool job, and then I did. And what I do by day is I watch TV all day, and I Twitter and Facebook. And the accounts that you may see on the internet are at Much Music, MTV Canada, or Much More TV. And if you follow those, those witty one-liner comments, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, feel free to at reply though, because it's you're not re you're replying to a real person. It's not just this fake CTV. Woo! It's me. <laughs> and I like it, and I'm allowed to be creative, and I'm allowed to say stuff, uh, and. Uh, it's really fun. It's challenging at times, but I really enjoy it. Um, and what I'm kind of going to touch on is dealing with multiple personalities online. <laughs> yes, and if anyone has known me before the internet, which I, there's probably I don't, no one here that really does, but that's kind of a crazy thing for me to talk about because I am a little bit of a crazy person. Um, but I found a job that really suits that. So. Um, what I, the accounts that uh, we've got, we've got much, MTV, much more. Some of the things that are really challenging about that is they all have a different audience, they all have a different voice, and they all have a different message. So uh, throughout the day, like kind of, I'll kind of go, let's say, the Much Music uh, crowd, we just did the Much Music Video Awards. I don't know if anyone saw the show. <laughs> during sound checks, so. Um, and uh, so that that was a pretty cool thing. Um, we had some of the things we did that were neat for that. We did tweet to screen on the live show if you're watching on TV. We also did a live stream uh, on muchmusic.com. And we also, it was the first time that the live stream was broadcast in the USA on Fuse and uh, fully online so that anyone in North America could watch it, which was pretty awesome because Much Music had never done that before. And they've really taken their like online game up a step. I'd like to think that I have helped in that. I started in November, and I really tried to get them to, you know, do a lot of cool stuff. Um, so the and one of the things that's really neat about it is uh, I really like watching TV. And the, if you watch TV, the funnest place to be is on Twitter. Like uh, I don't know if you're watching World Cup. That's like the place to be. If you can't be at the game, you want to be on Twitter because like all of a sudden it's like go. Cool! Like everyone, you see it, and I watch The Bachelor, and hopefully you don't unfollow me because of that, because I tweet like crazy when that's on, but that's really fun, because I can be at home, and I can be hanging out with all my friends online. Um, so we had, like, we had the audience for Much Music that I'm kind of always talking about, like Justin Bieber, Katy Perry, like, we have this new show, Hard Times, about this kid in high school, that's a really huge one. And like, I tweeted about that, and that's like, that's fun. His name is RJ Berger. Um, but then the audience for, like, that's very high schoolish. Um, and when I tweet about uh, that show, or those kind of things, it's like, Said, OMG, that was like so amazing, <laughs> exclamation, exclamation, hashtag, and a, a link. Uh, and I don't really actually talk like that, but much music does. So that's the kind of, in the blog posts, they're all like that. So I have to keep that voice in mind when I'm doing that. But at the same time that I'll send a tweet out for that, then there's something happening for MTV, like Jersey Shore. Woo! Which is like awesome. <laughs> so like I and I really love that show. Like Snooky, I just want to be her homegirl, you know? And uh, but the way that MTV talks is also different. So MTV is still pretty chill. It's probably closest to how I actually really talk, which is like today I released the um, 
season premiere trailer for Jersey Shore season two, which I'm so excited about. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, and it was like, OMG, this pop, you this, stop everything that you're doing, this is gonna make your day. And it was like, then I sent that out, and then people were like retweeting, oh, this is awesome. But that audience is a little bit older, it's kind of more the people like the hills and the city. Uh, and that's, that's also very different. But then I also do much more. And much more TV is like, this is a new single from Kylie Minogue. Would you like, would you like to go to Lilith Fair? Like, okay, like, I don't actually talk like that either. But I have to maintain all those at all the same time, during a day, and all the time. Uh, and really something that's really exciting is uh, Abby Ho is here from Epitome Pictures. We've got a new character coming. Uh, Degrassi is now going to be on Much Music. We've got a new character that we're working on. That's, her name is Heather P. HP Degrassi on Twitter. And she lives only on Twitter. And yeah. she is uh, a product of Abby and I. And she also talks differently than I do. So that's uh, much MTV, much more Abby and Casey, because I also tweet as myself. Hey. Um, and uh, it's a really, it's really interesting mix to try and uh, balance all those different things. And most people don't balance that many accounts, but if you're in social media and you work in the social media space, you got to find a balance between your personal brand and your work brand. And there can be a lot of challenges with that. Before I got this job, I worked for a software company, and I just woke up fired. Fired. Like, pull into the office, you need to stop tweeting, don't write your blog anymore, meh, 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 And I was like, I need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so that's when I was like, hey, I'm gonna, find it. I'm gonna find a new job, and I stuck at it, and I got out and tried to, you know, be everywhere all the time, and I ended up getting a job. But now it still comes up that, like, one time, I was watching The Hills, and I'm like, making comments about like how Kristen Cavallari is such a bitch and then I go into work the next day and my boss is like can we talk for a second and I'm like shit I shouldn't have said bitch but the thing is I said it on my own personal Twitter because I thought that I shouldn't say that on MTV and I got told that Casey Stewart stole the show last night on Twitter and I was like oh okay and now it's when I'm watching that show I have to tweet from that account because they said, you know, you signed a contract, this is your job, that's, your, that's part of what you do, is the social web for those shows. So it's building that online engagement about that specifically. So it's kind of like when you're doing something for your job, let's say, I don't know, whatever company is that you work for, even during the 9 to 5 hours, if you work a 9 to 5 job, it's like you don't want to be tweeting too much for yourself or updating your personal blog and being like, just updated my blog, it's amazing. Because then they will, if your work's not done, that's the first place that people are going to look at. And that's, that's serious. I've got in trouble. So I'm not telling you from my experience that that's what will happen. But you need to make sure that it's not really that funny. <laughs> but you know, you need to make sure that if you're doing a job and you, you know, I have talked a bunch of times to like the Humber PR students about how to get a job in social media and how to do this and do that. Well, it's out there and you can go and get it, but once you get it, you really want to keep it because like imagine I got fired right now. It would be like, ha, ha, like if, if everybody would probably laugh at me because I was updating my blog all the time and then I kind of ruined it by not keeping the priorities of like social media if you do it for a job, still got to maintain that and all those multiple personalities. Uh, but multi mul maintaining the multiple personalities isn't, uh, it's also not easy. Uh, there was a time I got flowers on Valentine's Day and I did one of these with my flowers and I sent it out, guess who, what, MTV got flowers that day. And then I got called into the, I know, then I got called into the office and said, hey, you need to make sure that you're not doing that. On a Saturday afternoon, Jeremy Wright likes to remind me of this all the time, of the Saturday afternoon when he was, I know, Saturday, Jeremy Wright's at his house and he's drinking, I'm drinking, having the best time, this means tweeting, by the way, you know that? Thank you, thank you, from the back. Um, so, I was tweeting, uh, well Jeremy had tweeted and on a Saturday afternoon he said, oh I'm at my house drinking and MTV Canada, Canada replies, where are you drinking? And that's really not that good. So if you're managing a, a work account or something, really make sure the client that you're using can manage multiple accounts, find a way to do it, and be careful, because those kind of things will not only hurt your 
work brand that it could hurt your personal brand in the long run. Um, let's see what else I say. Um, there's something else that can be really, really helpful is using your personal brand to help um, work. As much as it can be challenging, and I have to make sure to like get all the tweets right and all the right show mentions and this and that. There's been some really cool things that we've done, and they said, Casey, we want you to keep doing what you're doing on the side because that helps build the social media. Because much of music at MTV doesn't know you guys. They don't know, not like I do. Like, I have tons of friends here that I met all from Twitter that I love. But if MTV invites them out to something, it's going to be different than me inviting them. And there's a bunch of people here that have come out to, if you like the hills or the city, I have blog parties where I have my own special section and a VIP list with my own coat area and everything and people can come out and sit and watch the hills and the city at MTV and a live taping of the after show and they get to they had meet and greets with Dan and Jesse if you're into that. I've had pizza parties and that's all been from I'm arranging from my personal Twitter and my personal account and bloggers that I know and people that I think are of influence that would be interested in that. And that's been really cool is using your personal brand to help the corporate brand. Uh, but, um, does anyone have any questions for me about brands and stuff? Sure. Um, I use a Android Motorola Milestone, and I um, use CSMIC for that. I'm like, does anyone else have Android? I feel like I'm always like one of the only ones. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> but uh, and I use on web. I use TweetDeck. And I use that to monitor and manage hashtags and all my different accounts. But my tweet deck is like a serious, it's a situation. It's like this one and so many columns. But I find that I, I was using Grizzly for a while, but I find it not to work as fast. I don't use tweet Suite. I just have no got into it. Um, but yeah, I really like tweet deck. But I find if I'm doing something that's really important, like during the day, I actually go into the web, like into the web, Client and I log into much music, I reply a bunch of people, I send out a couple specific tweets, and I log out and I log in on a different account. Because for me, when I'm managing so many different priorities and all different voices, to help my crazy figure out what I need to say, it really helps me just to see the background and like, it's getting in that mindset to be able to say the right thing and in the right voice. Because I'm literally switching out of like high school student, college student, mom. And then, then back to, uh, um, it's going to be Abby. Um, Heather Degrassi as a high school student at Degrassi, and then there's me that I am, I don't know who I am anymore. <laughs> but, but, you know, I try to manage doing my own account uh, a lot too, and I just, I changed my tweet frequency, it used to be really, really, really high. Like at my old job, that's why I got fired, so I tweeted so much. And I switched to protected tweets, and I took the date stamp off my blog, and I tried to do all these things so they wouldn't find me. But now, because my job is totally in social media, everyone can see what I'm doing. So. I try to just not tweet too much during the day, and let me tell you, as soon as I leave, it's like, ah, especially if I'm watching a TV show at home, it's like, it's a lot. Uh, anybody, question? Go ahead. Um, you, you talked a lot about Twitter, but you mentioned other platforms as well, like Facebook and stuff. How much are you using those in addition to the Twitter accounts? Um, I use, I update the Facebooks for um, all the brands. Well, for much of MTV, they're updated every day, once or twice. I try not to, I find Facebook, in terms compared to Twitter, Facebook is like kind of like the slow hangout, and Twitter's like where people are really chatting. So, um, so but I update those like twice uh, a day. But we use that a lot for um, engagement with um, like we'll put up a gallery. Today we have like I put up uh, four characters that are on a show, Pretty Little Liars, and I said, who do you think is the prettiest one? And then all of a sudden people will do a stream of comments, and it's good. But I find that like my team, they really look at the Facebook insights that I don't know how accurate that stuff is anyway. But they look at the insights and they're like, oh, we had 5,000 people interact with this many people and they find that, they find that to be useful, which they don't really know what it means. <laughs> they don't know what it means. I just tell them, this is how many people talked on our Facebook and they're like, wow, that's up from last week, Casey. Good job. Right there. <laughs> Fist pump, you know, like, I don't know. So I use that. Um, like to get us using Tumblr. Like I use for my personal blog, I publish almost daily on WordPress, which is my casestore.com. I have Tumblr and Posters that I update by email. Tumblr is all pretty girls and pictures of style and things like that because it's very fashion-y, I find. And I use Posters to publish anything that's kind of like more techy or, you know, funny captures that I screen grab and things like that. And um, 
But I like using those as well because I find that updating blogs by email, it's just so, it's so cool to be able to do that. It makes it real-time engagement that I do something, I publish it right away. All of a sudden my Twitter followers see it and people are interacting. Um, but one thing I would say about Facebook is if you have a blog, I plug my RSS feed into that because I found, I've been doing that for probably like the last two years, I just plug it into my Facebook notes and I'm waiting for when someone comments on your Facebook that that counts as their blog comment. Where is that? Facebook. <laughs> like seriously. Because that, that should, it's all on the web, it should be connected. But I find that a lot of the people that are, the people that follow on Twitter are different than those on Facebook. Facebook is all those like people I went to school that I never talked to. But now they're, <laughs> you know, but now, you know, but now they're like, wow, Casey, your life looks so exciting. Or they comment and all of a sudden I'm like, guess who came out of the woodwork, that person. And all of a sudden I build relationships with people that I didn't ever really like that much before or no, but now all of a sudden it's like, okay, you comment on my blog, you're a nice friend. You know, and it's like I find that, I like to do that, but Twitter is definitely my big fave. Anybody else? No questions? Question over here! Right over here! What do you got? Okay, so she asked if there's if I'm more corporate, like on my personal account, would be while managing all the brands. Um, not too much, I swear. And like, I like, you know, I post pictures of myself doing stuff all the time. I do a lot of videos. Like, I love 12 seconds. And Rochelle, thank you for telling me to get back on 12 seconds because I do videos like this is what I'm doing right now, blah blah blah. And like, I don't do that for the brands because I keep. I want to keep my like authenticness of me being like kind of crazy and like maniac and sometimes I drink and sometimes I tweet when I'm drunk but be careful not to do that from the work account but I, I really try to maintain my realness of like who is me. Anybody else last call from the audience? Let's go. <laughs> uh, do you, how often do you speak to yourself? Do I like app reply myself or does much music talk does to Casey? Does much music talk to Casey? Does no. much music talk to much more music? No, I re no, no. Much music, they don't, no, nobody talks to each other. We're not friends. <laughs> Are you following each other? We follow each other and I retweet but I don't engage. That's a new reality show. I know, reality show of me and all my personalities. <laughs>